Across the road from Awfully Chocolate, Juju and Mushy Bakes is Everything with Fries, a cafe that serves choice Western cuisine with, you've guessed it, different kinds of French fries. The interesting thing about Everything with Fries was that it was conceptualized, set up and run by Lin's Awfully Chocolate staff. When you do a business like this where the hours are so long, uh, the work is, is so grueling, especially in the, in the hot kitchens, how punishing the regime seems to be, then you really realise how fabulously committed and loyal and, and you need so much passion to be doing a line like this. And uh, for us, it's like, where else would these people, these youngsters, this group of people get a chance to really own something and feel that they're part of it unless they are truly, truly, you know, yeah. owners and part of it. Adopting a hands-off approach, Lin has let her staff completely run the show at Everything With Fries. Take a glance at the menu and you'll soon discover that everything on Everything With Fries' menu does indeed come with, you've guessed it, fries. What's the fascination with the fries? And then I, you know, they were telling me how they liked it. And so they were the ones who came up with this concept where everything would come with a choice of different flavors of fries. And, and we were testing the fries because, I mean, generally people who are a little bit more healthy, I try to be healthy, um, say, hey, you know, aren't fries unhealthy? Shouldn't we be doing potatoes? I tried to bring this thing where I know you guys love fast food. But can't I do fast food in a less processed sort of way? Yeah. We're very careful about how they're made, how they're prepared, and we pair them up with really good food. Um, the ingredients, everything is made by hand here. We bake the bread for our burgers, we, we you know, patty up the meat fresh, we hand make all the sauces. So although it, it's like you know, burger and fries, um, chops and fries, steak and fries, there's a lot of that kind of natural, handmade goodness that goes into the concept. For Lin, empowering and trusting in her staff to get the job done is the way to go in terms of getting her operation to run smoothly. The one thing that I learned very early on was that I, as one person, could only do so little. And I could, and things only really started moving and you could see you know, like things happening and, and us really, I, I suppose, shaking things and, and making noise when you had a group moving in the same direction together. The bakers, the cooks, uh, the chefs, the cleaners, the, the office staff, making sure that, that what you order, you pre-order for your birthday gets right down to it. My goodness, there's just so many other parts involved. So I know, if I think, that I can run it all on my own, I would have never, Awfully Chocolate would have never gotten to where it is today. With Awfully Chocolate shops all around the region, can we expect to see one in Malaysia sometime soon? We would definitely, you know, look out for opportunities to open in Malaysia. I, I sometimes tell people, they don't believe me when they see that there's franchises all over Asia. I say, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same bunch of people who started it with more staff, but it's not this giant big company. So we always feel like we're being pulled in all directions. And then sometimes I do say, hey, we need to prioritize product, as you know, is critical. Training the staff is critical. And if that means sometimes that we can't be everywhere as quickly as we would like to be, it's okay. It's okay. It's not a race. Yeah. It's always about getting the fundamentals right. And when the time is right, we will, you know, explore the opportunities to go abroad. But I would love to be in KL. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Given her success with the Awfully Chocolate brand so far, what advice has she got for budding entrepreneurs hoping to follow in her footsteps? Do not be afraid of hard work because I don't know anyone who got anywhere, entrepreneur or not, without good old-fashioned hard work. Everyone kind of needs to go out and not be afraid of working hard and trying things out themselves. That's probably the best advice that anyone can give. They try to purport to give you any other advice, don't listen.